This is a sad video for me. As a Josh Rosen fan, I did not want to make this, but I have to be honest. The NFL is not meant for Josh Rosen, and Josh Rosen is not meant for the NFL. I have to be honest. And we're going to dive into his career and talk about where this all went wrong, why it went wrong, what he did on his own to make this even worse, and all those type of things. Now, you know, Josh Rosen's a guy that was put in a lot of bad situations, obviously. He was put on probably two of the worst teams in football in back-to-back -back years, the Cardinals in 2018 and the Dolphins in 2019. I get all that, but Josh Rosen made a lot of mistakes on his own, and we'll talk about that. So we'll talk about his career and all that stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And let's get into it. So when Rosen was taken back uh, 10th overall, I think the Cardinals traded up for him in the 2018 draft, and he was supposed to be their franchise quarterback. And Josh Rosen goes to the podium and has that famous quote, there were nine mistakes made ahead of me. And every time he has a bad game now, people post that quote. So it's a very bad take by him, obviously, but I definitely, uh, I definitely respect the confidence. I will say that. But um, Josh Rosen has been a mistake himself. There has been a lot that has gone wrong, and... With the Cardinals, they had a historic amount of offensive line injuries that year, if I remember. They had like seven different offensive linemen go on IR or something, something crazy like that. I forget the exact number, but a lot of offensive line injuries. They had a head coach in Steve Wilkes, who was a one-and-done head coach. He was terrible. Um, the Cardinals' best weapon was probably 34-year-old Larry Fitzgerald at the time. So it wasn't the best situation for Josh Rosen, of course. The Cardinals, I think, went 3-13 and that year. And they get the first overall pick in the draft. Cliff Kingsbury is hired. And, of course, they take Ky uh, Kyler Murray. And then, like, a day later, Josh Rosen was traded to the uh, Dolphins for a second-round pick. His time in Arizona was pretty bad. He had a—who was the offensive coordinator they had? They had somebody who used to be the Chargers head coach. I forget the guy's name now. It was Mike McCoy. I, I knew that name was kind of familiar. I think he was the Chargers head coach, maybe, or he was with the Chargers, one of those. And then Byron Left, which came, um, you know, came in and called plays for them. But Josh Rosen definitely showed flashes in 2018. There was like flashes of like, okay, that's why that guy was taken so high. But then Josh Rosen also had games where he completely crapped the bed. And most uh, notably, that Thursday night game against Denver. And Josh Rosen had like four interceptions in that game. It was awful. The Cardinals lost that game like probably 38 to 3. It was just a terrible game on prime time for him. And that's when it was like, oh boy, this guy might not be it. And, um, you know, the Cardinals had to make a tough decision. It's very rare to see a team take a quarterback in the first round, especially trade up for a quarterback in the first round, and then take another quarterback the next year. And Kyler Murray obviously was the right choice. Kyler Murray is a whole lot better than Josh Rose, and we get that. It was a perfect uh, scheme fit for Cliff Kingsbury there. And, yeah, like it sucks for Rosen that it was only one year in Arizona. It's not really his fault that they got a new coach and whatnot, and the roster sucked. It's not his fault, but the guy did not really show enough in his first year to be like, okay, you're for sure a franchise quarterback. He did not show that in his first year. And I think he had like nine or ten starts in his first year. They started with Bradford. He got hurt probably. They went to Rosen. He started enough games, but he just did not show enough for them. So then he goes to Miami, and I think Ryan Fitzpatrick started the first game in 2019. I remember Rosen had a lot of drops on his team. I remember Devontae Parker dropped two touchdowns or maybe it was Parker dropped one and Preston Williams dropped the other something along those lines but there was two drop touchdowns in that Dallas game for him there was a couple of deep passes that were dropped in the Patriots game and garbage time for him so I mean Josh Rosen had some some bad luck the offensive line of Miami was also terrible um, that team started out the year like 0-7 there was people thinking they might go 0-16 that year so the Dolphins were a bad team to, to go to but then Ryan Fitzpatrick eventually replaces Josh Rosen and Ryan Fitzpatrick ended that year going like 4-3 and three. and they're like all right well maybe the Dolphins weren't that bad maybe maybe it was Josh Rosen's fault so then Josh Rosen goes into 2020 the COVID year I think he got released at some point I forget if it was training camp or not might have got released sometime around training camp and went to the Buccaneers and you're like all right you know he can go now behind Tom Brady Watch him for a couple years, and maybe Josh Rosen down the line is the guy. But Josh Rosen did not end up in Tampa Bay for too long. I think he stayed there through the first, I would say, month of the season. And then sometime in October, he got cut by Tampa and then went to the 49ers. And he was on the 49ers up until this preseason. So he's there for a little bit, but the 49ers did not see enough there. Obviously, they had Garoppolo, they had Trey Lance, and who's the other guy? They have some other guys at, at quarterback there as well. But, um, you know, there was some quarterback competition. Some other guy beat him out, and then he was cut again. So Josh Rosen was on the street and looking for a job. And then the Atlanta Falcons pick him up. And the Falcons, of course, have Matt Ryan. They did not take a quarterback in the draft this year. They took Felipe Franks. So let me, you know, let me uh, correct myself there. They took Felipe Franks, but 
you know, he was a later round pick. So they take Josh Rosen to back up Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, um, of course, was having a pretty good year up until the last couple of weeks. And Josh Rosen's had a couple of uh, mop-up duties the past couple of weeks, and it has not gone well. He threw an interception in the game at Dallas when the Cowboys beat the Falcons. What was the score? 43-3 to was the score. So they put Josh Rosen in. He had six pass attempts, went one of six, 14 yards, one interception. That's terrible. Then came in this past week on Thursday Night Football against the Patriots, and he was one of three, five yards, one interception. And the one completion he had was almost a pick six. I remember that play. It was the out route to, uh, I don't know, some Falcons receiver, and the guy almost jumped it. So he looked terrible. And then it's funny. The Falcons brought in Felipe Franks right after the Josh Rosen interception. But I did not see that. I thought Josh Rosen threw two interceptions in a span of two minutes. And I was like, oh, my gosh. But I actually found out a few days later that was Felipe Franks and not Josh Rosen. So I guess that's a good thing. But... I don't really know how a coach can have any confidence that Josh Rosen is going to at least be a good backup because every time he gets in there, especially recently, it has not gone well. Like in the Falcons preseason game, it was week number three in the preseason and the Falcons played the Browns and Josh Rosen looked good. Of course, he had a bad interception. That's what he does. But he had some very nice looking throws and it was like, okay, this is why the guy was a high pick and he's talented. Josh Rosen has talent. Um, there's a reason myself and many other people out there were a fan of this kid, but there was a lot of concerns about like the cockiness, does he love football, the attitude, all those things. And I guess for some reason he does not get it up here. And he's a smart guy apparently, but for some reason he always throws the worst interceptions at the worst times. Um, I do think just as a pocket passer, he has talent, he has a good arm, he can you know locate the ball deep. Like he's not a bad player, it's just for some reason he does not get it mentally. And I'm sure, I'm sure that he is just effed up mentally because he now is on five teams in a span of four years. It's probably not easy to deal with. So I get that part of it. But I don't really see this guy having an NFL future. I was thinking maybe he can be like a lifelong backup and he still can. I, I could see it, but he just makes way too many mistakes when he gets in there. You know, I know that when you're in garbage time, you try to push the ball down the field and get points as quickly as you can. But Josh Rosen, even when he comes in in these garbage time situations, is still throwing interceptions and you can't have that. So you know, I don't know how much longer he has in the NFL. I don't know how much longer it will last. And he clearly is a bust. Any hope that this kid will revive his career is probably not going to happen. I do think there's a chance he's a backup and has like a Chase Daniel type career or something like that. But that's not what you want to be when you're taking 10th overall. So it's sad how it's turned out. But I will say, I mean, look, he I will give him credit that he's even sticking with football still. I figure by this point, he'd probably retire. Maybe he will soon. I don't know. But I will say he's been, you know, he has he's stuck with football and he's been a good teammate. You've never heard anything in the media in a negative way about Josh Rosen. He always, like, you know, is it has been a good teammate. Even when he got traded by the Cardinals, he went to Larry Fitzgerald's fundraiser, like, the next day. So, like, he's been a good teammate. There was some attitude and the cockiness concerns, but the guy's been a good teammate. Unfortunately, he throws way too many turnovers and does not make enough big plays in the NFL consistently to, to be an NFL starting quarterback. So, once again, he's still young, and there's, things could change. You know, Matt Ryan could get injured next week, and Josh Rosen comes in and, and has a great second half. I don't know. Anything can happen. It's football. But right now, at least, it does not look great for him, and it's sad the way his career went, but that's probably how it's going to be. It's definitely leaning more towards he'll be a bust than be like an NFL starter anytime soon. So, it's unfortunate, but that's just how it went. So, the guy went to two terrible teams but he really did not help himself the way he was playing. So I have to say that as well. It's not its not just his teammates' fault. I mean, Josh Rosen himself probably could have played much better. So that'll do it for this video. Let me know, uh, do you guys think Josh Rosen will find himself a nice, long NFL career? Or do you think he'll be out of the NFL soon? I think he'll be out soon, honestly. I don't want to say that, but that's what my gut tells me. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys next time.